Hello guys, just a simple question. What is design automation? If I have the CAD system like the Autodesk Inventor and I want to model some geometry, I will just uh, open up uh, the part modeling and put there the constant values for each dimension. If I want to change something, I just open up the parameters and change these constants to something different. That's the classical modeling with the fixed values. If I want to do the parametrization, I need to put there the parameters with the value and then make some kind of the constraint between the dimensions and those parameters. Uh, for example, like that, just single value and multiplied by the ratio. If I will change this value, everything is changed. You can make it more complex. You can put there the more values like the width, width ratio, height ratio, length ratio, and make it as the unitless value. It can work like that. You can make some really complex parametrization but it's still the parametrization it's it's uh, it's not the design automation it's just the complex parametrization so what is the design automation design automation in Autodesk Inventor is for example the iLogic uh, you can take these parameters and uh, create a new form and uh, make really nice user interface for the managing these parameters. Uh, it's not only a different kind of the input, but you can bound these parameters. For example, um, make it um, driven by the slider, which has the minimum value and a maximum value and some kind of the step that means you are bounding the user input and this is one type of the design automation you are putting some advanced logic to these parameters if you want to change our geometry you can just uh, drag and drop the slider and your geometry is start moving and changing um, immediately on the fly so that is the one type of the design automation the handle with the user input. Other stuff, what you can do is adding some uh, rules for uh, those uh, parameters. For example, uh, you can ask with some kind of the if statement uh, for the volume of the part. That means if our volume is less like uh, 2000 cubic millimeters, then show us the message box with the information part is too small and put there some some notification of, of this form like the icons and uh, ok button doesn't matter what you will put there but it's some kind of the advanced logic in the post processing of our geometry so if I have now this geometry and I will open up again our form, I can put there a button which run the geometry check. We can see it did nothing because we are more like a 2000 cubic millimeters, but now there uh, pop up this message box. So a simple recapitulation. Classic CAD modeling is about uh, constant parameters is just a constant. Parametrization is about uh, some deeper constraints between these dimensions. They can be also really complex. And the design automation is about adding some additional logic to pre-processing or to post-processing. So you can put there some rules or you can um, handle the user input. So that's it.